Reading quotes and life lessons is like delving into the profound thoughts of great philosophers. These timeless aphorisms have the power to shape our perspectives and transform our lives. And now, it's time to engage in a conversation with one of the most influential and insightful philosophers of the 20th century, Bertrand Russell. Of all forms of caution, caution and love is perhaps the most fatal to true happiness. This quote suggests that being overly cautious in matters of love can prevent us from experiencing true happiness. It encourages us to take risks and be vulnerable in order to find true fulfillment in relationships. It is generally admitted that most grown-up people, however regrettably, will try to have a good time. This quote conveys a sense of resignation or acceptance, acknowledging the human tendency to prioritize pleasure and enjoyment despite any potential negative consequences. The fundamental cause of the trouble is that in the modern world the stupid are cocksure while the intelligent are full of doubt. This quote offers a critical analysis of the modern world, highlighting the unfortunate reality that confidence is often misplaced in those who lack intelligence, while doubt plagues the minds of the truly intelligent. To understand the actual world as it is, not as we should wish it to be, is the beginning of wisdom. This quote encourages us to acknowledge and accept the reality of the world around us, rather than living in a fantasy or idealized version of it. It suggests that true wisdom comes from understanding and embracing the truth. Work is of two kinds. First, altering the position of matter at or near the Earth's surface relatively to other such matter. Second, telling other people to do so. The first kind is unpleasant and ill-paid. The second is pleasant and highly paid. This quote sheds light on the different types of work and their varying levels of satisfaction and compensation. It suggests that while physical labor may be unpleasant and poorly compensated, the act of delegating and managing others can be enjoyable and financially rewarding. The idea that the poor should have leisure has always been shocking to the rich. This statement challenges the societal norms and highlights the disparity between the rich and the poor, emphasizing the need for equal opportunities and the right to leisure for everyone. There is much pleasure to be gained from useless knowledge. This quote speaks to the idea that knowledge does not always have to serve a practical purpose. Sometimes, simply knowing something for the sake of knowing it can bring joy and satisfaction. I cannot escape from the conclusion that the great ages of progress have depended upon a small number of individuals of transcendent ability. This quote suggests that the advancement of society is often driven by the exceptional talents and capabilities of a few extraordinary individuals. It encourages us to recognize and appreciate the contributions of these exceptional individuals to the progress of humanity. No rules, however wise, are a substitute for affection and tact. This statement highlights the importance of emotional intelligence and interpersonal skills in our interactions with others. It reminds us that following rules alone is not enough to create meaningful connections and relationships.
I think modern educational theorists are inclined to attach too much importance to the negative virtue of not interfering with children and too little to the positive merit of enjoying their company. This quote expresses the author's belief that contemporary educational theorists focus too much on the idea of non-interference with children while undervaluing the enjoyment of their company. It encourages us to reconsider our approach to education and the value of personal connections with children. Two men who differ as to the ends of life cannot hope to agree about education. This quote suggests that education is influenced by individual perspectives and goals in life. It implies that people with different life purposes may have different opinions and approaches towards education. Every man would like to be God, if it were possible, some few find it difficult to admit the impossibility. This quote reflects mankind's inherent desire for power and control, suggesting that even though some may struggle to accept their limitations, it is important to acknowledge and embrace the boundaries of our existence. Power may be defined as the production of intended effects. This quote provides a thought-provoking perspective on the concept of power, suggesting that power can be measured or understood based on its ability to achieve desired outcomes. Most people, at a crisis, feel more loyalty to their nation than to their class. This quote highlights the complex relationship between national identity and societal divisions. It suggests that in times of crisis, people prioritize their allegiance to their country over their social class, emphasizing the strength of patriotism and unity. Competition for power is of two sorts, between organizations, and between individuals for leadership within an organization. This quote reflects the complex dynamics of power struggles, both at an organizational level and within individual relationships. It highlights the inherent nature of competition and the drive for leadership, emphasizing the role of power in shaping our social structures and interactions.